Today we are looking at the new Stable Diffusion 2.0 and comparing it with Mid Journey V4 using the same prompts and we will be testing out the image to image function. So I will be picking prompts from lexica.art in this comparison. Anyways, let's just dive in. Okay, so the first prompt we are gonna test out is gonna be this anime Panda Ninja Warrior. Uh, you can see the rest of the prompt here. So I'm gonna pick the Stable Diffusion version 2.0. I'm going to try this 768. I think that is optimized for wide images. So this is going to be more like a 3x2 image. Uh, so let's run it here. And just copy the prompt. Go over to mid journey. Slash imagine. Yeah, let's do dash dash v4 ar32. Enter and see what we get back. Okay, so we got some results back here as you can see. I uh, kind of like it, it was quite cool. Um, uh, if you were wondering what kind of steps and scales I was using, I'm using the CFG scale 7 and the steps is just 50 here. And we have the Stable Fusion 2.0 with clip guidance. The reason I'm using Dream Studio is just because uh, it's so easy of use now instead of going into a collab or something. Okay, so that was the result from Stable Fusion 2.0. Let's have a look at the Mid Journey V. Okay, quite a big difference if you ask me. Uh, I really like this one, uh, but we're gonna compare them after. So what I'm gonna do now is just run four other different prompts. After that, we're just gonna compare them side by side and we're gonna do some image to image testing. Okay, so now it's time to test out the image to image. So I have uploaded this image of a Lamborghini. And we're gonna use this prompt. Uh, it's just a supercar in a dark studio room. Vaporate team. Uh, yeah, you can read it here. And uh, let me just uh, adjust the image strength here. So I wanna put it at 30%. And let's just dream that. Uh, head over to mid journey go imagine copy the url paste it get the same prompt here paste it here and just do dash dash v4 and uh, let's see what kind of results we can get here okay so as you can see we have some results back here this is from stable fusion 2.0 and we have some results from mid journey so let's just compare this side by side after but first i'm gonna do one more image upload so the last image upload we're gonna do is just some drawing I made in mid journey of myself. Uh, and we have this prompt. You can just read it here if you want to. I think it's supposed to be like a draw uh, painting, I think. Uh, so let's dream that and copy the prompt. Head over to mid journey. Uh, slash imagine. Paste the prompt. Dash dash v4. Go get the image URL here paste it in front and hit enter and see what we get back okay so in stable diffusion 2.0 we got this i think that looks pretty good we're gonna compare them side by side so let me just download that uh here is something we got from mid journey i'm just gonna grab one of those and let's compare them side by side okay so let's take a look at our first comparison this was the anime panda ninja warrior prompt uh and I gotta say, Mid Journey just beats the hell out of Stable Diffusion 2.0 here. I gotta say, uh, I like the Stable Diffusion one too. It's quite cool. It's a bit messy. I could have maybe run a few more prompts to get something better, uh, but this just came straight out of the park from Mid Journey V4. So, what can I say? I guess that's one zero Mid Journey. Okay, so the next comparison we did was this. Uh, Korean girl anime prompt. You can read it there if you want to. So here I think it's a bit closer because I feel like the Stable Diffusion 2.0 image is a bit more like an anime style. I feel Mid Journey is more going into some kind of uh, more of a painting or an illustration. I'm not quite sure. So here I think it's a bit closer, but like if I had to choose one, I'd probably go with Mid Journey. But I can really see like the Stable Diffusion here getting some point because I just feel it's more of an anime picture. 
Okay, so the next one we did was also this long prompt from lexica.r. Uh, it's basically like a snow-covered small house, I guess. And here I gotta say, I think I actually prefer Stable Diffusion 2.0. I guess that's just a personal preference, but I just, for me, I think it's, it's more style I was looking for. If um, uh, I think the Midjourney one is a, maybe a bit more realistic, I think so. I'm not quite sure, but anyway, I think I'm going to give this uh, to Stable Diffusion 2.0, but hey, that's my opinion. Okay, so here we have this up-close portrait of a beautiful woman in black and white. And what can I say here? There's not really much to say, like mid-journey V4 here blows Stable Diffusion out of the water, I guess. Um, I like the Stable Diffusion one. It's quite cool, actually, but if you look at mid-journey ones, they're like the, the shadows are better, the composition is probably better. Yeah. It's much more realistic and for me there's nothing really much else to say here so yeah okay so the last comparison we did was this a bathroom with a lot of plants inside of it and it's more of like a rendered in unreal engine image and yeah what can i say like i, li I really like the lighting uh, on stable diffusion i think that's more bright and i kind of like that but if we look at the details there's my journey is just way ahead. So all these kind of details that really lights up the image. Could have, could have probably, probably been a bit brighter, but uh, that could be changed like in Photoshop, I guess. But the Stable Fusion one is good, but again, my journey is just way better. Yeah, let's look at some image to image. So for the first image to image comparison, we have the input image here in the top left corner of a Lamborghini. And you can see the prompt here. It's like a supercar in a darkroom studio, vaporwave team, etc. So, uh, what can I say here again? Mid Journey just blows it out of the water with the details and uh, composition and the realism and yeah, everything. But that's not to say I don't like dislike Stable Diffusion version either. I think it's cool, like, but it's not it's not at the same level for me. But Again, as I'm probably going to talk about in the conclusion, like if you use the open source Stable Diffusion 2.0 and like use a data set to train it on cars, you can probably get a much better image. But for now, just straight out of the box. Uh, yeah, mid journey V4 far ahead. And for the final image to image comparison, you can see the input image in the top left again. That's like a, an illustration of myself. And here I think it's much closer. Here I really like both. Uh, like, I really like Stable Diffusion version. Like, it's much more artistic. It feels much more like a painting. But if we look at the prompt, we have both painting and photography. Like a portrait painting. Uh, okay, the Mid Journey one, uh, there's much more detail and it's very crisp and very, yeah, what can I say, realistic. But uh, here, I would say it's just 50-50 for me. Uh, I was kind of impressed here with Stable Diffusion 2.0. Okay, yeah, so the conclusion here, I think we have to consider like two things. And that is like the results, of course, and the price. So if we start with the results, I think there's just no getting away that Midjourney V4 kind of beats Stable Diffusion 2.0 in almost every category. Uh, but I also need to consider that since Stable Diffusion is open source, it could be trained on like a special data set, let's say, with just supercars. And that, I guess, could outperform in Midjourney in some special categories. But straight out of the box, uh, Midjourney V4 just beats Stable Diffusion 2.0, at least in my opinion. So let's talk a bit about the price, because I hear I think it's get very interesting. And let's say I pay now $30 for a month of Midjourney. Uh, and in this test, I did use the dreamstudio.ai uh, for the ease of use. So there I pay, I think it's $10 for 1000 credits. And since one image is around 1.5 credits, I get around 750 images for $10. Uh, but of course, since Stable Fusion 2.0 is open source, I could just download it on my computer if you have the compute for that. Or you can just use it on Colab like for free in with no restrictions so i just love that uh, it's open source and that so the community could enhance its performance over time in the months to come 
So I will definitely do another test again soon. So I guess for my like a final conclusion here, I guess if you don't have $30 to spend on mid journey each month, I would definitely go for just stable diffusion, the free version, like in the open source community. But if you want like the best results straight out of the box, very fast, I would just go for mid journey and the V4 version. Okay, so that was it for my comparison between mid journey V4 and stable diffusion 2.0. I hope you enjoyed it. So check out some of my other videos here there should be something good here i think uh, anyway thank you for watching have a good day and i'll see you again soon